So around March, when the pandemic hit the United States, to my surprise and shock, people were still making Tuesday Blu-ray hunting videos or thrift store hunting videos, and they continued to do so. I started to ask myself why. It turns out, it's just all about the money. Perhaps I'm naive, but to my astonishment, blue tubers, some of them kept going out and hunting during the pandemic. Just wanted to make this quick video. It's new release Tuesday. We're in the middle of a pandemic, and there are still videos being uploaded of people going out to different stores to seeing what's new and what's out there and what's being released. It is absolutely ridiculous and continue to do so which is a risk one thing in particular that that kind of struck me um, was you know I don't want to name names in this I'll try to stay away from names when talking about this but one of the people in the blue tube community brought his kid like a five-year-old kid into a target store with no mask on and um, it was a, a high risk I thought and unnecessary so I just look this isn't gonna last if you're one of the people who make uh, these videos these new Tuesday hunting videos or thrift store hunting videos it's just the viewership isn't gonna last this is not gonna last forever I would advise people who try to make a living off of this that they at least look towards learning a trade going back to school while they can if they have the money um, perhaps getting a real job where you're working um, doing something productive and moving up the ladder because if you're relying on this for your income it is going to be short term this is not going to be something long term and if you're really into movies maybe you know become a unit production manager or have Christian Bale yell at you for for doing something wrong if you're if you're that into movies unfortunately unless you're Chris Stuckman this isn't gonna last also there are far too many people who are using patreon when they're not supposed to be alright so I'm gonna read off my phone this is a description of patreon it looks like by YouTube Patreon is used by YouTube videographers, web comic artists, writers, podcasters, musicians, adult content creators, and other categories of creators who post regularly online. It allows artists to receive funding directly from their fans or patrons on a recurring basis or per work of art. If you do videos every Tuesday on new movies that come out, that's not art and you are not an artist you are abusing Patreon. That's not what it was meant for. Get a real job. If you use Patreon and you take your fans money and buy movies from them, then you're not a true movie collector. If you get movies from movie studios or companies that are titles that you maybe wouldn't want, then you don't have a true movie collection. People who have real movie collections go out and they use their own money to buy them or sell them or trade them whichever other than that you're not a true movie collector some recommended channels movie edge for sure very knowledgeable about movies and where to get them uh, gray 1951 I've mentioned before I think he's an expert especially in classic films and he has interesting conversations and things to say Ray's movies um, does monthly updates on her movie collection and also does digital code giveaways um, Durant Cinema even he has a lot of subscribers and he does giveaways um, Blu-ray Dan actually very popular he probably gets free movies from companies and stuff like that but he's not in your face about it and he's a very good um, YouTube creator about about movies really likes uh, a 24 studio there's a bunch of Bluetooth creators out there still who if I didn't mention I'm sorry but uh, they do this for a hobby and they don't take it that seriously they don't want your money and they don't get uh, stacks of movies from companies of titles that they would never heard of you know this is America it's a free country but if I were you I would unsubscribe to Bluetubers who make money off of their videos 
through viewership and advertisement, and especially those who ask for your money via Patreon. I would unsubscribe to them in a flash. But again, it's up to you, and it's just my opinion. So Maybe we should start a video topic on this. I would love to hear other people's or um, creators' opinions about this topic on the use of Patreon or getting free movies from movie companies. And it would be, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe um, being too harsh, maybe um, this, my opinion is, is a little too extreme or something. I'm, you know, admittedly not right about everything. So, But I'd love to hear other people's creators, especially people who just kind of do this for a hobby or uh, make videos when they can on blue tubers who apparently are using Patreon and um, making videos to pay the bills, basically. So... Alright guys, that is it for this video. Have a good one. See you on the next video.